In a previous video, I walked you through how you can add a background to your subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video, I want to show you how you can change the background style field mode for your subtitles so that instead of having one background that goes for all the subtitle lines that you have, you have a background for each subtitle line that is available. For example, if this is a two line subtitle, each line has a background now. This is really hidden inside Adobe Premiere Pro and it took me uh, a while to get to it. So if we have like a single line subtitle style here, then that is what you want for the different lines. If you have two lines for subtitles, which is recommended, then it looks like this. So this is where you find or where you can change the background style fill mode in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now with your subtitles selected, they are obviously open the essential graphics panel on this side. When you look at the appearance on this side, you'll see these particular graphics properties or arrange all the settings. If you click on that, you'll get to these graphics properties. So there are a couple of options here. These are the stroke styles and the background styles. Now the stroke styles, we're not going to cover that, but let's look at the background styles. The fill mode at the time of actually creating these subtitles, the fill mode is for all lines. So all lines that are available will have the same fill mode, but there's a drop down, and then we have the option of per line. If we click on that and then click on okay, what you'll notice is, let's just try and move this down slightly. The lines overlap, sorry about that. The lines overlap uh, because mostly of the size of this particular background. So. What we need to do is we need to adjust the size of this particular background on this. And basically, since this is the background, we have it set for the opacity at around 75%. We'll need to change this particular size. So uh, you can just drag the slider down. And as you drag it, you'll notice that uh, the overlap of the subtitle is actually not there but there is still no clear demarcation of uh, the subtitles. So we can just try and uh, put in a number. We have 3.7 for now. Let's just add three, press on enter. Uh, there's some slight demarcation there. Let's go for something like 2.8. That looks better if I'm not mistaken. Let's just maximize this tilde key. Looks better. There's a demarcation uh, right about there. So I feel that this looks good, uh, but let's actually 2.8 or 2.7 will actually work. So now the only issue at the moment is I forgot that we're working with the whole uh, uh, subtitles or all, all the subtitles. So the change that I've made is only for this particular uh, caption block, uh, this particular one. So you'll need to actually ensure that you press on control A. So let's just click here so that we can see uh, the size that we set. Click on this, uh, control A, and then let's come back to the range again. And then let's say per line, click OK. And then we can uh, come up to here, 2.7, press on that, and everything changes right inside here. So uh, I believe now everything is looking good. If we click on this, uh, sorry about that, press on the tilde key, uh, you'll see that if we actually scrub through our subtitles, uh, you'll notice that uh, you'll need probably to just go a little bit slower, but if you'll notice there's a clear demarcation between the two subtitle lines. Uh, and I believe you can still work on this further based on the size that you want to set if I just move this down slightly, but remember, control A, so that all lines uh, are incorporated into the changes, two, and two has better demarcation, but also remember that now once you continue doing that, let's say we go to zero, you'll notice that uh, the text sometimes is cut off from uh, whatever you're working on. So uh, if we can do that, let's go back to 2.7, looks good. But I wish that there was an easier way for uh, Adobe Premiere Pro to just wrap uh, the background to the text that's available. And then you can just have that option for the background style for all lines or single lines, ETC. 
and also maybe to style the different backgrounds for a particular subtitle. If it is this particular subtitle and we have two lines, then you can change one probably to be a yellow, the other one to be a black, whatever you want. But that is how you can change the background style fill mode for your subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. That is from all lines to a per line background style. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.